I getting picked up in the pickup. <laughs> wow. Here we come. 315 days ago we signed up for this. Whose idea was this? <laughs> Local airport. Eugene, Oregon. We love flying out of Eugene, Oregon. So easy. And we are a little bit early. But, you know, we've got uh, 24 hours to get to Iceland. And we're just going to donate that time to it. Be happy. Life is good. No point in getting stressed out. Hiking is happiness. Hiking is happiness. Iceland or bust. That's where we are. Life is good. Go ahead, guess. We're on the plane. Heading to Iceland. Seattle. I just tell her it's Iceland. <laughs> Good morning, Iceland! I had to drive away from where we camped to be able to say that because apparently the Icelandic people, they don't get up none too early. We were up at 5.30 their time. We left at 7-something, and only two people had staggered to the bathroom to use the facilities. We'd showered and eaten and tore our tent down and we're ready to go. But we're on we love it here time. They're on we live here time. So there is quite a difference. Beautiful little valley. Oh look, see there's thermal stuff going on. Iceland is so so geothermal active. I can hear this. Can you hear the steam over there, Susan? Uh -huh. yeah. They're producing power. They're producing heat. Not all, but virtually all the buildings are heated with geothermal. They produce power with geothermal. So typically everything is, you know, all the buildings are warm. And since it's, it's you know, it's kind of free heat, they leave the windows open or the doors open and the heat's on. And that's just really common. Because the heat just keeps on coming. Anyway, we're here in Iceland. We've got all these word, names that we cannot pronounce. So for three weeks, we just go, go to the HRN place. <laughs> we don't know what it's called. Happiness is hiking in Iceland. We're here. Oh. Come and join us. Or at least watch our videos. <laughs> okay. Signing off. Our first sign off here in Iceland. Pretty pretty amazing. If you like amazing, think about coming to Iceland. So we're just driving down the road. And you'll note that there's a geothermal plant there. You see these pipes... So that is, that is probably heating that farm right there. So I have no idea how far they had to go down to get that geothermal heat. But you can see they're, they're just outgassing heat. There's so much heat, they don't even need it all. And so they'll bury a pipe underneath the ground. And all these houses over here, which Iceland, they take care of their stuff, man. You're gonna see lots of houses that have got this red roof, white wall program going on. There's a gray one over there. That's kind of a unique house. But every one of those buildings over there is heated with geothermal heat. And I mean, it's just endless. You can, you can turn the heat up as, all, as high as you want. And they have heat. So it's just a matter of piping it out of the ground and utilizing it. They heat their hot water. They heat their homes. 
They've just got an endless supply of that. Their barn probably has heated parts to it. It's pretty cool. Oh, this place rents too. Look at these guys have really got it going on. They're squared away. There's a hot tub. It's heated with geothermal. <laughs> yeah, they got it going on. I think the little bugs are going to be bad today. So this is just a curve in the road. You can see very far off in the distance a uh, glacier. Oh, when we were up on the hill a little higher, we could see it a little bit better. But talk about a spectacular day here in Iceland. Very few clouds. It's warm, quiet. The air is amazing. Oh, Susan is, she's out going in some sheep trails. She's already out in the sheep trail. And see that little house tucked up into the, up in the woods up there? There are some people that really have got it made. There's little houses tucked up in these little forests. There's one, there's another one up there. And they've just got a little slice of paradise here in this valley in Iceland. I mean, live, you know, life is good. Living is good here. Wow. Here's our first decent sized river <clears throat> that we've come across. This is uh, coming from uh, Gilfoss. Gilfoss is not far from here. And there's a glacier up over there. And you'll note that the water is is uh, got that glacial flower in it. It's always got that kind of brownie kind of color. Now the thing about that that's interesting is this, been, this has been going on for a long time and that water is actually quite abrasive. In, you know, thousands of years, tens of thousands of years, it can cut down through rock quite easily. And as you can see, up at the head of this area is some little bit more durable rock. So it is cut a very narrow channel. Then it's cut a deeper channel. And who knows how deep this water is. Pretty deep, I'll bet. Because that's quite a bit of water to be forced into this narrow channel. Look at this. That water is cooking and it has cut this gorge in this area and I cannot tell you how long it's gone but it goes but wow very good explanation of how geysers work how cool it's hot 80 to 100 degrees Celsius okay they're saying don't go out there and I agree no walking out there. We're down with that. On the way over here, we came from a road over there someplace. And I could see the geyser blow up. Poosh! And I said to Susan, there it is, there it is. And I give her the quiz. What is it? And she didn't know. I said, it's a geyser, look. So we're going to have a little geyser action here pretty soon. How fun. How fun is this? Iceland. Just amazing. This is uh, of geyser. <laughs> I don't know what's the name of it. But it's the most famous one in Iceland. It goes off fairly regularly. And look at the uh, buildup of material. I mean, it's like concrete of, of uh, minerals. It's like concrete. Built up. All this rock. The hot water leaches the minerals out of the underlying rock. And then when it comes up here, it precipitates out and forms a, like a concrete layer. And there are different bacterium that can grow in the 
warm water into warm water. Oh, wow. You should, I can feel the heat. You can just feel the heat. That's way cool. It's way cool. Waiting for <laughs> the ice that was so awesome. We're here. We're doing this for you. Remember that. This isn't for us. It's for you. <laughs> Hello everybody. Hello. We are here at a geyser, very famous geyser in Iceland, waiting for oh. that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes, that was so awesome. We're here. We're doing this for you. Remember that. This isn't for us. It's for you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Hello from Iceland. Oh, how awesome. Hope you're having as good a day as we are. Bye from Iceland.